Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing another comparison video where basically I compare two pairs of shoes. So here we have the um, real pair of Birkenstocks, um, which are the genuine, yeah, Birkenstocks um, in the color white. Then I have a pair of replica ones um, that are black. So, first things first, before we talk about the actual shoes, um, the difference in price. So, the genuine, authentic Birkenstocks retail for around 150 New Zealand dollars. Um, and then these replica ones are about $30. So, I should say that um, this brand called Lipstick, um, they don't actually claim to be Birkenstocks, but I think it's pretty clear from the style of the shoe that they're trying to replicate um, these Birkenstock sandals. Um, so yeah, obviously in the price there's an obvious difference. Um, the authentic one will cost you five times more as this one. Um, so just to clear things up, these are genuine leather. Um, while these ones are made of synthetic material. Um, but I bought these second hand on a website called Trade Me. Um, which is kind of like Craigslist, I guess. Like eBay um, in New Zealand. Where basically you can buy and sell your second hand clothing. So yeah, with that being said, um, let's compare the actual shoes. So from um, just like from from afar, both look quite similar. I must say, um, you can't tell. I don't think you can tell at least straight away which one's fake and which one's real. Um, but when you take a closer look, there are some obvious differences. So looking at the sole, both are kind of similar. I mean, obviously the print is different, but um, you know they're both kind of this. Um, I don't know, this foam, I guess, material, but it's like hard and yeah, I think they're quite similar. Um, and then looking at the front, again, both have the two um, strapped straps with the buckles, um, but um, once when you look closer, you do notice that the real one, um, on the buckle, it's printed. You can see Birkenstock printed, while this one has um, nothing. And the buckle on here, it's just plastic, while on the real um, sandal, it's like metal, and you can see that it's starting to rust. Um, and then when you look on the inside of the shoe, obviously the real one um, has the Birkenstock label with the sizing, wh whereas this one doesn't have anything. Um, also another obvious difference, um, the sole in here, everything like is leather, while this one is synthetic material. Um, another difference that I found was that the real one is like quite, like, quite a bit more wider. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell just by looking at it, but... This shoe, like both of these are the same size, but the real one is quite a bit wider. And I know that you can get like a narrow version of Birkenstocks as well. Um, but yeah, these are just the normal ones and I found that uh, these shoes are quite wide. So like for someone who's narrow feet like myself, these, um, the replica ones actually fit me better. Um, in terms of like comfort, I would say both are kind of similar. Um, but to be fair, I haven't really worn... Um, these ones out yet like I've had these for about six months but I've only worn them around the house so um, personally I don't think they'll last very long if you like um, wear them out because as you guys can see that like the sole bit it's already starting to peel off and kind of like fall apart um, also around here if you guys can see this is like peeling apart as well um, it's gonna focus um, yeah it's peeling here because obviously this isn't leather, so you know, whenever you like, kind of do that, whenever you step and yeah, it starts to peel. Um, so there's one downside of buying <laughs> a fake. Um, oh, another obvious difference is that on the side here, you have the Birkenstock logo, um, whereas this one is just empty and there's nothing here. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much the main differences. So in terms of comfort, I would say like, both shoes are quite comfortable, like I have to say. Um, I just wear these around the house and honestly they do a pretty good job. But I do think that if you were to um, may maybe um, go for like long walks or outside during the summer, you probably are better off with the real one. Because obviously um, having the leather, it's I feel like it's not going to smell as bad as this. Um, I think if you were to walk around um, you know, for like a long time during the summer, these would probably get very smelly and just fall apart very quickly. Um, I think that if you're someone who, like, if you're someone who's going traveling or you really are going to do a lot of walking, then I think it's definitely worth 
investing in a real pair or even getting them like secondhand if you can or like on sale um but if you're someone that maybe you just want something to wear around the house or you want something i don't know that's gonna last you one summer which i don't know why you would only want just a pair of shoes for one summer but yeah these are fine just you know to use as like house slippers or something for walking around the house but personally i think that the real ones definitely are better quality um you do notice um when you wear both like one on each foot um the real one is quite a bit heavier obviously being made of leather and this one um like plastic i think or synthetic materials um there is a difference in weight um which i guess makes this one more comfortable at least uh for just walking around the house like i actually prefer these um the replicas to the real ones because these are quite a bit heavier and yeah they just they feel more like you can definitely feel them where this one um they're just more light and they just kind of feel more of like a slide i guess like flip-flops Whereas these ones feel like you can definitely feel um feel them and they're heavier. But I think yeah, if you're gonna be t doing long walks or going traveling or something like that, definitely invest in the real one. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.